Okay, in this video, we'll talk about uh, Venn diagrams and uh, most of this video, uh, our focus will be on understanding the parallel between uh, the logic that we have learned till now, the mathematical logic that we have learned till now and uh, the set theory that we already know, which includes the Venn diagram. So, so we'll, we'll see uh, how these two connect uh, with each other. And uh, the, the very first uh, logical connective that uh, I think we studied was uh, the OR, uh, where we had two statements P, Q and we had an OR between them. And this is this is very much uh, similar to uh, the set notation, uh, the set uh, concept of the union of two sets. So you have two sets, A and B, and you take the union of those two sets. And, and that that uh, in set theory, it basically represents the uh, let's say let's say these are two sets, A and B. So the union union represents uh, all of the region A, which includes uh, A or B. So so all of all of this is the union set. This, this is the set A union B. And this, this is very much in parallel with uh, the statement P or Q because uh, let's say let's say P is the statement uh, I play football and Q is the statement uh, I play basketball. So, so this statement uh, says I play football or basketball. And, and if I uh, go in the set uh, notation, that's set theory, uh, let's say A, A is the likeliness of me playing uh, football and B is uh, the likeliness of me playing, playing uh, basketball. So, and if you take the union, this, this represents my likeliness of playing uh, football or basketball, right? So, so you can see that uh, P or Q uh, is, is very much similar to uh, the set uh, A union B. Similarly, if I, if I have uh, the other logical connective P and Q, it is very much uh, similar to uh, the set operation A intersection B, which which includes the common part. So so this 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 is the common part in between. So so here uh, let's say I have a I play football and this is a I play basketball. So this is this statement is I play football and basketball. And uh, if if this represents the football and this represents the basketball thing. And so this 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 is the common region. This is lies in both of the sets. So this is this is the set. This is the scenario where uh, I play uh, both football and uh, basketball. So this is P and Q is very much similar to the intersection of A and uh, B. Uh, the, the other uh, logical connective uh, the, or the logical operator that we looked at was negation of P. And this is uh, very much similar to the concept of complement in set. So if I have a set A and I look at its complement, uh, and for, for this you, you need some universal set. So let's say let's say this is my universe. This is my universe. Let's say it's U and I have a set A in there. And so A complement represents everything that's outside this set. So so this this all of this is uh, my A complement. Again very much in parallel with uh, logical connective neg or negation where uh, I say I don't like or I don't play football. So if this is this is the set where I play football then everything outside it is uh, the set uh, where I don't play football. So very much in parallel with uh, negation of P. The, the other uh, connective that we have is uh, P implies Q. And uh, this, this is uh, very much in parallel with the set theory of being a subset. A is a subset of B. So, so we have a set A. Let's say this, this is the set A. And it lies completely inside the set B. So this is a huge set B. A lies completely inside B. So here when I say uh, I play football, if I play football, then I play basketball. So, so if I play football, if I am this in this set, then I am automatically in uh, my uh, super set that is of B. So if I play football, then I definitely play basketball. So you, you see in the parallelness between P implies Q and uh, A being the subset of B. And uh, lastly, uh, we studied about P if and only if Q. And, and we, we even saw how this is uh, as good as uh, two implications. P implies Q uh, as well as Q implies P. So I, I can even write this as this is as good as P implies Q and Q implies P. So, so uh, we know from uh, our uh, uh, previous knowledge that uh, this this is as good as A is a subset of B and this is uh, as good as uh, B is a subset of A and, and in set theory uh, we, we know that 
if uh, you have this such kind of scenario a is a subset of b b is a subset of a then it is as good as a uh, uh, saying that a and b are uh, equivalent sets or they are the same set so if i have a being inside b as well as uh, b being inside a it's, it's the same set this the same set is a as well as b so so yeah so p if and only if q is uh, as good as saying that the two sets are uh, same so you see very much uh, the set theory in, uh, the set theory is in very much parallel to the theory of uh, logic that we have studied and uh, i'll give you a final uh, tip when when dealing problems regarding venn diagrams uh, in logical uh, mathematical logic uh, you, you always have uh, only a handful of scenarios you cannot have n number of scenarios so you uh, you either have this scenario where uh, a is a subset of b in which case uh, a is inside let's say and b is outside or you can have the other way around in, in which case it will be uh, b is subset of a uh, or you can have the other scenario where uh, a is equal to b in which case you have the same set being represented by two different characters a is equal to b uh, or you can have a scenario where uh, you have a set a and a set b which have something in common so in this case uh, you have that a intersection b is a uh, non empty so and and uh, i i hope you know that uh, empty set is represented by a uh, symbol phi and if you want to say that this is non empty then a intersection b is a uh, non empty and uh, the last possible case is that you have a disjoint set so if you have set a and set b which are completely disjoint and and of course this is, this is my universe so if i have a here i have b here in this case uh, the intersection a intersection b is empty because there is nothing in common so this this is an empty set so so you only have uh, these these four uh, kind of uh, possibilities by dealing with problems using venn diagrams either one of them is a subset of the other or you will have both of them to be the same or you will have something in common or you will have nothing in common yes